Okay, guys. Uh, first things first. In order to be very mathematical and calculated on your cabinet bids, you're going to need some data. Okay? So you may have to sacrifice a kitchen if you have no idea what to charge. You may have to sacrifice a kitchen and, um, and figure out how many hours it takes you. Okay? So, for instance, maybe you think you're going to come into the kitchen and you and two guys are going to spend all week there. Okay? From Monday to Friday, three guys a day. Okay? So, that's essentially 120 man hours. Okay? So, you got to... What do you charge per hour? Say you charge 60 or $70 an hour. You're going to say, okay, this is going to take all week. That's 120 man hours times whatever you charge. Okay. But then we have to figure in materials. Okay. So on top of that, we have our materials. So you have your time and materials. This is the simplest way to kind of calculate this out. But there is a more mathematical way to do this once you have this data. So I suggest on your, let's say, next three cabinet jobs, you take down the data, like how many man hours is, uh, let's just say this is an oak kitchen. How many man hours is this kitchen gonna take you to do? So I have a, a kitchen drawn up here. Um, it's kind of like unfolded here. This isn't actually what a kitchen looks like, but basically I have um, over here, we have our little bay where the refrigerator goes, the two little doors above the refrigerator. We have uh, some upper cabinets here, and we have our drawer system here. We got lots of nice drawers here. Over here, we got some cabinets on the uppers. We have our hood, our stove right below it, some more doors here, and maybe another little area right here where the coffee pot goes and a couple drawers and that. And then right here, we have our island. So what I like to do is I like to go through and count up how many pieces do we have here and by piece I mean door and drawer okay so if we start counting we go through I go through across the top the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve come across the bottom okay we've counted up all the pieces we have 34 pieces on this whole area these are pieces that we're gonna have to take off and take back to the shop and clean or spray in the customer's a garage. Uh, also, we have the island here it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So on this kitchen, I have 34 pieces plus eight pieces on the island. Total pieces, we have 44 pieces, okay? Okay, so now we've determined on our kitchen, we've went through, we've talked with our customer, and um, we're taking notes now on their kitchen, and we've determined that there's 44 pieces to remove off the cabinet. So my goal here is to get you a production rate on average, how much is it going to cost, how many hours per opening. So here I'm going to show you how to do that. So remember I was talking about having some data so say maybe you can look at past data um, if you haven't done any kitchens before you're gonna have to sacrifice a kitchen um, but say you've done three Western Red Oak kitchens and one kitchen took you 120 man hours one took you 136 and one took you 111 so that's 367 divided by three is gonna give you the average per opening um, divided by three is 122.3 hours. It's on average out of three kitchens, all oak, it took you 122.3 hours, okay? So with that data, we need to divide that right here. So we have our average 
is 122.3 hours. Now we're going to divide it by 44 pieces. We come up with 2.77. Okay, so 2.77 hours per opening. So when we come back and look at each opening, so on average, each opening to, to produce this opening is 2.77 hours. That's from showing up, removing the door, masking off the opening inside and out, cleaning, sanding, priming, red Bondo, and two coats of paint and bringing it back and reinstalling each door. It's actually taking, and, and these are just some dummy numbers. You might be able to do it in 1.77 hour. Maybe you're the fastest painter on the West, who knows? Uh, this is just for mathematical purposes so that you can refine a number so you can come in and be consistent. So 2.77, all right? So what's that tell us? So let's come up here. So each opening is taking 2.77 hours times 65 an hour. Say that's what I charge, 65 an hour, okay? So now you know each opening is 2.77 hours times 65 brings us to $180.50 per opening, okay? So now when you walk into the kitchen and you count 44 openings, you can times it by $180.50 per opening, giving you your labor cost of $7,922.20. Okay? So now you have your labor price. Okay? So now you know because you've done the work, you've collected the data. When you come into the kitchen, you can count up all the openings on, on average. Um, in order to make $65 an hour on all your painters, uh, you can charge 180.5 an opening. And now, like I said, this is different. Let's go back here. Everyone is different. There's no price for everyone. So maybe you charge 50 bucks an hour. You know, maybe you charge 105 an hour. I don't know. On average, I'd say people charge between 60 and 80 bucks an hour is the going rate for a painter, depending on where you are in the United States. Then we got to add our materials. Why am I doing the materials cost separate? Because I like to know that data as well. So if the each kitchen on average is taking uh, three gallons of primer and four gallons of paint, if I am down on my numbers, I can go back and look and say, oh shoot, that one took seven gallons of paint. Looks like I messed up. Um, next time I know when I do an oak one, I'm gonna bump that up, you know, and, and pretty soon you're gonna have the data so you can actually add more onto this to calculate your 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 paint prices in here. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. Okay, so now we've figured out how to count up our pieces. Uh, we figured the total uh, 44 piece kitchen. These are our average three um, jobs, which have averaged out to 122.3 man hours to complete this kitchen. Then we've came up here and determined that um, it's taking 2.77 hours per opening and we like to charge 65 an hour, making 180.5 per opening. But now we've come down here and it's taking three gallons of primer, four gallons of paint. Now we have an average on three kitchens and it's always taking three gallons of primer, four gallons of paint plus sundries equals $450, okay? So then we're gonna take our $450 and divide it by our openings, 44, piece pieces which comes up with ten dollars and twenty cents in opening so what do we do we take our labor which is a hundred and eighty dollars and fifty cents and we add our 
opening or our uh, materials cost, which is ten dollars and twenty cents an opening. Which now we have a hundred and ninety seventy. So now we don't even have to do our, our material separate because we spent the time to get the data. Now we know with labor plus materials on our kitchen here, we can count up the pieces and times it by 190 in opening. And this is how you can come into a customer's house, have a good software like Estimate Rocket or Paint Scout or Drip Jobs or one of those softwares in place where we've already got the customer's information dialed in. We have a template for cabinet painting. We can walk in, we can talk with Mrs. Smith, we can show her our samples. We can explain the value of using our company, how, how we put two coats on this. And maybe you have a sample that shows like all the different layers. Here's the primer coat. Here's the paint coat. Here's the red Bondo we put on. Here's the paint coat. And this is what it looks like after we spray your kitchen from golden oak to white. Um, and then we can come in, we can count up the pieces we can plug our number in. Oh, 44 pieces. Boom. At $190 and 70 cents an opening. Boom. Calculate the price. Okay. Mrs. Smith, I'd like to sit down at the dining room table with you and, and uh and present a price to you um and then we can present our price right on the spot sitting in the dining room table and uh we can ask if we can earn their work um and so hopefully you have found this um extremely valuable all right so hopefully you're gonna stop guessing on your kitchen cabinet jobs and use some math Spend the time, sit down, get a notebook. Job cost, a few jobs, it's all you gotta do. You may have to lose a little money or break even or not make your margin on a few jobs to, so that you can get that data. But once you got that data, that data is gold. And you're gonna be able to repeat this system. You're gonna be able to walk into a kitchen with confidence, know exactly how long it's gonna take for you to get the uh, job done and be profitable. All right, everyone, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the station. I'm gonna have some more uh, videos about painting cabinets, tech tips, primers, top coats, how to estimate, things you should charge more for, and uh, hope you guys like it. Please leave any uh, questions in the comments and I will answer them for you guys. All right, have a blessed day.